Hello, my lovely Virgos. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. Ready here to do your next 24 hour whoa, love reading. Take a look and see what the energies are here. So just so you know, you guys can follow me on Instagram at Moon Pie Tarot. What is going on? I'm sorry, House of Virgo, but I am, I am also Moon Pie Tarot. So um, I have another YouTube channel, so you can go check that out too if you want more Virgo readings. Um, you know what? I'm not going to get into anything deep here. Description box below has all the details. If you want to get a personal reading from me, just go down there and that'll show you how. But wow. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Past Position, Ace of Cups, The World, Five of Wands, Present, Judgment, The Knight of Swords. You had a really great reading yesterday. I wonder if you can top it. <laughs> Six of Wands, Future, Page of Pentacles, King of Cups, Virgo, and the Death card. You, I feel like you always get the King of Cups or the Emperor in your readings. Um, all right, let's just let me just tell you straight off the bat here: Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio, three times, um, Pisces, and Cancer. Okay. So let's take a look. What's going on? Past position, an opportunity for love came over your person, okay? In the past, they were really feeling the love. They felt like this whole connection is a blessing. You're a blessing to them. You know, this person may have come to you with, you know, let's have a baby, let's get into a relationship, let's get married, like a proposal, you know, or they were intimating all of that towards you that that's something that they wanted okay and this person was really i see here with the world this might have come over the internet for some or that you guys are at a distance um but this is also like i'm ready to put the past behind and start over something here okay but i see here with the five of wands challenges obstacles were in the way difficulties um but we're going to clarify here okay i'm going to pull some clarifiers and let's see this ace of cups i mean that's just a beautiful i feel like that at some point in the past the initiation of love it came over the two of you right it was like that came down from spirit it was like not just them making this offer but if you've changed in the past, changed their life in some way, you were a blessing to them. You gave them an ability to like start a whole new chapter in their life. They had hope and they were willing because of your love, because of the love that surrounded the connection. Um, I'm sorry. Um, you gave them courage. Your love gave them courage. Your love gave them the willpower and the drive, you know, to get things moving forward. Um, the Ace of Cups is like emotional inspiration. But these challenges, there were challenges and blockages. Let's take a look at this Ace of Cups. Okay. Three of Swords here. You helped heal this person's broken heart. They had some kind of broken heart in the past. Okay. I got to see something here. What is this? There's like fairies. Look at this fairy with his cute little butt sticking out. Something to do with a butt. Somebody likes somebody's butt. I never saw those before. I'm not really sure what this is, but I'll take a look at it and tell you next time. But I just see like, <laughs> I don't know if you can see it because I guess it doesn't get very clear, but you see right there, it's like he's bent over his little butt. <laughs> All right, let's take a look. What's going on with the world here? Oh, wow. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The Page of Cups. The communication um, that you and this person had, you gave them the sense of like that they could do anything, that they could like take on the world. They could they could do whatever. And it could have something also to do with a child because the page, you know, like a love child. Okay. And the Page of Cups, that's a very sweet, that's like new love. That's being, um, there could have been an apology or some type of like... Um, uh, they volunteer like you you they may have volunteered their love or their emotions or their feelings towards you you know in a, but a very childlike way but what were these complications 
Why was this? Why was there challenge the Ace of Cups again? Okay. Wow. Virgo, in the past, you freed this person from some kind of heartbreak and made them feel like they could do anything. And I feel like they truly do or did love you for this. But the challenge was, could, could they really do this? The, the challenge is like, could they really love? Could they really like... I don't know why this was hard for this person because again it's like I feel like oh there you go I feel like this person you made them feel like they could love again but they did not feel like they could be loved by anybody else right so there's this energy here of like, if you guys separated and they went and tried to find love again, they were facing in the past a lot of challenges in regards to that, you know, because it was like, um, it was like rivalry with, rivalry with the self. So this person, I feel like their struggle was, they had a, they have a fear of being let down still. You've inspired them and I feel like they feel like with you, there is like, it's there, but even just to try to get it off the ground, they still have this stuff goes on within their head or their mind, you know, or their heart that they'll be let down again, or there's a feeling of being depressed or melancholy, like the glass half empty, that kind of thing. And there's a feeling like, what if they disappoint you? Or what if they're a disappointment to you? Or what if they bring you down? Like, or what if they let you down? But it feels like the love is there and they want to be able to, you know, at least in the past, it's like spirit kept saying, hey, it's here, the love's here, the love's here, the love's here, hello, hello, we're giving you this gigantic gift basket of love and you're just saying no. Um, for some of you, this person was on a rebound and you helped them heal. And... They're grateful for that because you've set them free in a lot of ways. But I feel like at the time, maybe they let you go and they tried to like go off on their own now because you gave them something, you gave them some strength and belief in themselves. And then yet, guess what? They, they went out there and they're still having these, these struggles. Like it's almost as if... It's almost as if they went to the gas, the Virgo gas station, filled up the tank, and then took off, and then they ran out of gas. And I feel like now they're coming back to you, realizing that they should not have filled up the gas tank and left. I feel like it's, but it's not like a sense of guilt. I just feel like they're coming to terms presently with, wait a minute. My car's almost out of gas here. I'm out here by myself. Wait. Virgo is the one that I need to be with. Okay? And judgment is here. And that's like coming to the truth. We have that English flag here. That's that's opening up. That there's this person in the presence having like a wake up call. Like a clarity here about what you gave, the gifts that you gave to this person, to them. You know, their life purpose, what's their life purpose is you. And the Knight of Swords is here. So they're like turning back around. They're heading back in your direction. Like, I want to make this lifestyle change. I'm not happy where I am. Or, you know, I see the gifts you gave. Maybe they took advantage of that. Or at the time, that's what they needed. And they got it. And then they're like going out there and they're like, wow. They're letting themselves down. They're letting you down. They let you down in the past because they thought, it's kind of like they looked a gift horse in the eye. And now here they're getting back up on that gift horse and coming back to you to try to reconcile. You know, look at all these horses. This person wants victory with you. They want to be a win. They know that, that they can be a winner in your life, right? Even though they have hesitations, maybe self-esteem or stuff about their themselves like who they are but like the love 
This person wants to be like your everything. I just heard that very old Andy Gibbs song. I want to be your everything. <laughs> Let's take a look at judgment here. Oh, the moon. Yeah. Guess what's being revealed mostly? Self-revelation -re -re with this person mostly is their fears coming up. Maybe they feel like they're going to lose you or they lost you. Um, learning to trust their intuition. You know, this is card is about, you know, these deep emotions slowly coming out. And you see... We've got wolves in the background here, and these wolves represent the wild instinct. You know, this person's got this instinct about them that they're coming to terms with, that they want to illuminate your life and, and whatever their fears are. That It's like they're out in the dark, and they're trying to get out of that dark space presently and come back towards you. A lot of communication, travel involved here. Could be coming from a distance or connecting with you. I told you, what did I say? Either the King of Cups or the Emperor shows up in your readings. So here we go. The Emperor, Aries energy. The Emperor takes on this, you know, leadership position. <laughs> this person, your person might be sending a message to you via another source. Um a friend they might be saying having a friend say something to you which is very strange um oh yeah this um knight of swords often is my post man mailman as we say here in the u.s um you know he's delivering a package this could be amazon or someone delivering a piece of mail this person might be sending you a piece of mail to, like some type of um, communication, like it's coming in quick, it's priority, or it's like first class, like whatever, wherever you are in the world, like priority mail or something to get to you as fast as possible. Either they're sending someone, like a person, to give you some communication, or they're mailing something out or sending you something via like post about their like wake up. <laughs> or their realization about this relationship and or about you. Let's take a look at the six of wands here. This person might be in the public eye for some of you, or they have some some kind of like um, good, there's good news. It's definitely good news coming towards you, positive good news. They have some success, maybe an award or some type they're like victorious they want to tell you about like their success or some victory they have here the strength card leo energy okay this person has conquered something and also have a has a desire to conquer you and your heart <laughs> and some of you are like oh they, they've already conquered my heart i just haven't let them know <laughs> you might be keeping that to yourself like they already have my heart so um yeah, this person wants to win you over. And that strength card is always about like taming that wild beast. You know, they want to tame you. They want to grab you by the hair and drag you into that cave. I'm just kidding. <laughs> you know, um, they just want to make you feel good. And they want to be the winner of your heart. They want to be like the, the victor here. Okay, so... That's present. Now the future. There's an offer coming in from this person. Page of Cups. I'm sorry. Page of Pentacles. This is like a tangible gift of some sort. They're, they're bringing this or they're communicating this to you. They have an idea. There's something they want to do. It could be related to... It's something physical. So it could be related to like income teamwork, um, long-term security, could be related to the finances, new job, investments, new income, employment for some of you, it's solo pleasures or financial gains, there's like some kind of communication they're coming. 
They're bringing to you some money news for some of you, a gift, tangible, physical, tangible things. Let's get a clarifier. Okay. Hmm. For some of you, it's, will you run away with me? <laughs> they want to um, sneak away with you going forward in the future and the communication about this. Something like, you know, I bought us like a chalet or I rented a place for us or I'm, I'm paying for a ticket so we can just, you know, go somewhere together. Um, just the two of us like it doesn't feel it's deceptive but it's deceptive in a good way because it's kind of like a secret between the two of you that they want to that they they say to you and so the future position isn't like the future position would be from the time you're hearing this to any time forward okay they might um secretly give you a gift or do something for you like i just feel like it's 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 like tickets or it's like jewelry or it's money it's some kind of gift or something tangible if you can think of something tangible but it's kind of like i feel like secret admirer kind of energy they might communicate with you that they have like had this physically this physical um like thing for you and they've been kind of hiding that <laughs> Or they have had this gift that they've wanted to give you and they've been hot, they, like, or they actually, or like, or they secretly send it. I don't know what that means. Like anonymous maybe, or they, they, they take you on like kind of a scavenger hunt to find this, this thing that they're hiding. <laughs> it's very bizarre. Um, it just kind of comes out of like the blue. You don't expect it. Let's take a look at this King of Cups. What's the energy? Now, the King of Cups is usually almost always in the upright, supportive, a good leader, tolerant, empathetic, deep emotions, doesn't often share his emotions, but they do run deep and they're turbulent. Okay. But he tries to stay on the surface, but he's compassionate and very nurturing and caring. And, um, you know, like I said, a very supportive type of person brings a lot of healing, emotional energy, um, has very, very deep feelings. King Cups has the deepest feelings of all. Okay. He could be very, um, supine in temperament or melancholy in temperament. Um, just very deep, but doesn't wear his heart on his sleeve. Okay, so this King of Cups kind of lives in fantasy land a little bit up there in that cuppy energy, you know, sugar plums, <laughs> that kind of thing is a dreamer, um, possibly never really good with commitments or always like the, the King of Cups, you know, he's wise, he's a wise counselor and he is, um, probably is very good with study and education and learning and things like that but he's emotionally driven so he's kind of like if it has an emotional effect on him that's how he makes the choice but lots of stuff have emotional effects on him so he's often not one to commit because it's his emotions you know he doesn't standing by himself he doesn't often have the logic when it comes to doing things. He's just completely emotionally driven. And emotionally driven people don't often commit to things because emotions are up and down, back and forth. You know, they're up one day, they're down the next. Um, and the King of Cups, as he stands alone, has difficult kind of like seeing the logic, even though he's very intelligent and a good scholar and study, it's hard for him to make logical decisions because he runs based on how he feels, okay? Um, so he, he may have like a bit of some commitment problems or he just has like, um, he, he struggles to get clarity. He struggles to come out of fantasy land or la la land, okay? He does. He struggles to get like his senses and his wits about him. Um, but death is here. Let's take a look. There's definitely a transformation 
Ha, huh, you guys. Oh my goodness. King of Cups again. There's definitely a transformation with this person. Just remember, it doesn't have to be water, okay? Some of you could be dealing with two people. You could be dealing with an emperor and you could be dealing with water. The emperor's fire, Aries. If you're dealing with Scorpio, Scorpio is ruled by Mars, just like Aries. So it could, and there's a whole heck of a lot of that. So there's, and these are both, this is a Scorpio card here, but there's transformation and change. I feel like this um, King of Cups or whomever your person is, they're making some big changes in their life going forward and in regards to your relationship. So it's kind of like a rebirth is happening here with this person, walking away from all that's dead and no longer working and having a new start or a new beginning. Oh yeah, Ace of Pentacles, walking towards the opportunities. So somewhere along the line, this person gets clarity. Maybe they have a near death experience. You know, maybe they see Jesus or something, but there's like this huge Ace of Pentacles that comes in where before it was the Ace of Cups, um, emotionally driven. And now it's like the transformation is that they, some, remember I was saying before, they somehow look at the situation and say, okay, wait a minute. Let me only deal with things that are real let me not deal with things that are just in fantasy land and up in the air. I don't know. They get their, they get some kind of wake up call with death here. Maybe for some of them, it's like, I've got to move away from this energy and I got to like start making changes, you know, after death comes new life and that's the opportunity that comes down, but it's like not fully based on their emotions. It's based on, things that are real and the opportunities that are in front of me that I can make work because that ace of pentacles is, is like things that I can invest in whether that's in career um, or health or love you know this person is taking like that they're getting kind of like it's coming down upon them it's like um you know when you have an epiphany it's like an epiphany that comes across them like I'm only going to invest or learn or take part in things that are going to be tangible that I can work with, right? Not just the emotions. And the Six of Swords is here. So here's that necessary transition that's happening for this person. I wouldn't say grow up. I wouldn't say it's a grow up energy because the King of Cups is mature. I feel this is more like There were fears for this person to make a change or to move out of these troubled waters. They might have gotten very comfortable in these troubled waters, so they got used to these tumultuous emotions. But you know, staying in those waters just left them very alone on that boat with their thoughts and their fears. And I feel like um, there's some type of um, either relocation happening here. There's some type of like moving, travel, um, lifestyle change in a lot of ways. So let's take a look and see what your angel wisdom messages are here. Now, if anybody here is dealing with a Sagittarius, I just uploaded the Sagittarius next 10 days love reading on my Moon Pie Tarot channel. If you wanna check that out, that was pretty incredible. Okay, the sun, Leo energy. Some of you could be on the cusp of Leo Virgo, August 22nd, 3rd, 4th, August 18th, 19th, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Um, a, a, so it's a time of great joy and success, brilliant epiphanies that lead to magical opportunities, plans that work out perfectly, and gratitude to the divine. This is very positive energy happening here. What's going on with this person? Coming out into the open. Hmm. You know, I just feel like it's a new, it's a new time period here there's change the death card there's like 
the sands of time here like it's starting over something is starting over and that sun energy it feels like um like just extreme happiness and joy something's being brought to light here in this time period something is coming out into the open like it's being brought to light no more of this dark moon stuff here it's the sun okay five of earth negative thoughts manifesting into real challenges fears surrounding money reaching out to others for assistance poor timing for becoming self-employed okay so for some of you that's a message but the five of earth is also a card of worry isolation and it's a fear of being alone or it's a fear of being having nobody to help it's a fear of having nobody to rely on or to count on now i don't know if that's you but i feel like it's your person and this is what's driving them i feel like your person is feeling very alone at this time you know just kind of like lost sense of hope um don't know if they're going to be able to recover um just feeling very lonely work they're at work they're lonely at work they're by them you know nobody's really around them they're just everything is on their own they're on their own losing a sense of faith you know feeling maybe ill maybe their health is being affected or they're in a poverty position some of them might even have some financial losses going on right now but there's massive change as you can see justice wow it's karma being impartial and objective standing up for what you believe try to see all sides of a situation you will win if your position is one of integrity that's loyalty truth authenticity fair fairness being reasonable um, a, a cause and effect and a win-win solution but there's a truth coming out here for sure this is libran energy we have leo there there's truth coming out here openness but it's fair and it's good and it's just like the right thing to do oh and then we have we have death again there's release endings that lead to new beginnings the need to release situations or people that hold you back spiritual transformation that's the truth that's coming out here and your person is trying to remain positive even though they're feeling kind of like in a poverty mindset or or feeling down or negative about the relationship or just feeling like ugh, you know lonely they're trying to stay happy and positive but right now here I feel like they're realizing that they need to come to you and communicate and be fair and tell you the truth and release the past and release whatever they've been holding or bottled up within them and open it up because that starts a whole new cycle. You know, that's like getting on the same page with integrity, loyalty, honesty, respect. You know, maybe that was not there or, or it was there, but things weren't in alignment. And this release, this is big changes happening here, Virgo, between you and this person. So it's very beautiful. Stay hopeful. I hope you enjoy that. Um, yeah. And again, if you want a personal reading, link is below the description box, please. Uh, I had to close my comments because as some of you know, it's just getting so bad anymore. And I know you guys leave wonderful comment, comments and I read them and I appreciate them. I accidentally left the last one open. My community tab I have a spot there where if you want to comment on this video, you can go right over there and say whatever. But anything negative, I'm getting out. Um, I'll be removing it because um, I can't go through every single video and just keep removing negative comments. I mean, just I understand people are struggling and, and, and stuff like that. But I mean, 
it's just getting out of control. Plus there's a lot of like fake scammers and I don't want to keep, I don't want to expose anyone to that. So thank you for following my channel. Please do hit like on the video if you enjoy it and please do subscribe and share with your friends. Help me build the channel for all your Virgo friends as best as possible because without you guys, I can't do it. All right. Love you. See you guys soon. Bye.